yeah, wind me via the ferry, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're okay. Oh, it's a good hilltop. Hello, and welcome to the next instalment of uh, Bungle Collects on Tour. So we are here in the village, there's our V, of near Sari, and we are at a place which is uh, very prominent in the world of coins. So you might have noticed that I've got a Peter Rabbit up there. And that figure might look very familiar. Because there he is on the coin. And we are in the place where Beatrix Potter grew up. And we are heading towards the house that she spent most of her life in. And I'll have a little zoom in so you can see, which is called Hilltop. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and just walk over. And give you a view of the the village. It's quite a small village. Like most villages are. This one probably is one of the smaller ones I've been to, but nonetheless beautiful. So hopefully you might be able to hear the birds singing. So we're going to head round and we're going to have a look at Hilltop. So this is kind of, for me, what makes villages kind of quintessentially British. There's a beautiful garden. Now this is what you would class as a proper village garden. And this is outside a little guest house in this village. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Beautiful. This is featured in... So the books if you keep walking. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, I can't. Oh wow, it. yeah. Is it Buckle Yeet? So if you have a, so a plaque, a little sign on the wall. So have a little zoom in there. So Buckle Yeet is featured in many of Beatrix Potter's books, including The Tale of Tom Kitten, Pie and the Patty Pan, and Pigling Bland. Well, there you go. Again, some more. Beautiful flowers in this garden. Absolutely gorgeous. So we walked round from the other side of the village. It was just 150 yards to where we parked the car. And here we are at the, the entrance to Hilltop, Beatrix Potter's house. It is closed, unfortunately. So we're going to have to be creative in what uh, what we do. We did bring all the, uh, the Potters with us, the 2016 right the way through to 2020. And over there is the where you can get the tickets and I assume that the house is kind of up there I think kind of up there's like a little path and then goes around there I think anyway it's not quite uh, it's not quite clear whether it's a little bit away not sure whether it's behind that barn or not so we're able to get as far as where the where you can buy the tickets to go up to the house so if it was open you buy a, a ticket here and then you'll be able to get a, a time slot because they only let so many people in at once because they want to preserve it as, as much as they possibly can. So there's a little little area here, I think, where you can wait and park your bike. That there is the, is the guest house that Lady M was filming earlier on. So it features in some of Beatrix Potter's books. And unfortunately, this is about as far as we can, as far as we can go because it is closed. But I do recommend this, that you come up if it's open. So you've got no idea exactly where the house is. We'll try and put some pictures in. So there's Lady M there, so just back into the car park. We'll try and put some pictures into <laughs> of the house as best we can. So it is done by the National Trust. Put the vehicles there. There's the sign explaining it's closed. We did know that before we came, but it was just trying to get as close as we as we possibly could. We did ma manage to find Jeremy Toad Boy. There he is, look. He's just kind of outside this lovely, yeah, outside this lovely house here. I think it's a hotel. We've just come from back over there. 
that's where Hilltop is, through there. But yeah, just squirreled away here. Just mind his own business, Mr. Jeremy Fisher, AKA Toad Boy. We have also been able to find Jemima. Look, Jemima Puddle Duck's there. And just across the road, we have got Squirrel Nutkin. I think that's about as close as we're gonna to get to, to seeing anything, I guess. Just having another look at that, at that photo, mind. I assume that is the actual hilltop itself. So it's kind of difficult to get the angle. But is it square on? Is it, this, is it, where are we, there. This bit of roof here. So the, so the side of this house. Is that it up there? Is it, is it, so not this bit, that there? Is, is that that side? It's got the same, the same chimney. I think it is, you know. I think it's the side of that house. I wonder if we can just go back round and kind of, the, the road's kind of over there a little bit, whether we can just see a, see a front view of that. I don't think so, but we'll try. Can we see Tom Kitten? He's just on the bonnet of that car there. Let me just do another, can I do another point? Just there, look. A ginger Tom Kitten. Can't get any closer, any further away, but we're doing okay now. Toad Boy, Tom Kitten, Jemima Puddle Duck and Squirrel Nookin. We're doing all right. So, we're just kind of, we're working out a way of how to get close to the actual house, but it's just not happening. And I'm stood looking round and I happened to spot Jemima Puddle Duck. Right. Still not amazingly close, but I should walk a little closer, see if I can let you get a better view. So there she is, up on the chimney. So she's sat on the chimney of the Buckle Yeet guest house. Okay, 15 coins all in honour of Beatrix Potter. First coin started with the anniversary coin, 150 years since since her birth. And I think the closest we're gonna to get to her cottage is that, that bit there. So that very end of the house, is it a gable end? I'm not sure, but I think that's the very end of the house. It's kind of sideways on. That's as close as we can get with the visitor centre being being closed. So we're back at what I think is the exit of the attraction. So as you come out of the house, you come back through this, that shed in front of you is like a visitor's centre. And over there, it looks like a, a wildlife sanctuary, something like that. So you go in and you maybe see into the field, something like that. And I'm just not sure where, I just wonder whether that is indeed the house or the corner of it or the end of it. Could that be it? I think, I think it is. I don't think there's anything else there. I don't think it can be anything else other than that. Okay, so we'd given up, we were driving away, and as we drove past, we saw this gate saying that Hilltop is that way. However, there's a sign here saying that uh, Hilltop Farm, no parking, access, access is required all the time. No public access down here, but in the distance, just wait for it to zoom, there it is. There is Hilltop. We've got it finally. We've been here for a few hours trying to, to, to get it, to find it, to get access to it somehow, and there it is. So, just over 150 years ago, 154 years ago, Beatrix Potter was born. She bought that house with the proceeds of her of a, of a books. ADM tells me she was just 16 when she bought it, and she owned that house for, for many, many years. There it is. That's all, all the inspiration for her stories. All came from the wonderful Lake District, all around here through all the hills and trees and woodland and everything. Absolutely superb. So if you get yourself down here, do get there. Obviously come when it's open so you can you get the chance to, to walk around that house and, and have a look inside. Fantastic, we did it. Get in. So it looks like the uh, the road ran out on our <laughs> We're trying to get to the Beatrix Potter Museum. Follow the sat nav and unfortunately the road just ends. I'm guessing there's no ferries on. Unless, unless we can get on. Can we get on his board, Lady M? Maybe. Yeah, board. Yeah. 
Can we just take us over? Oh, there's a couple of people. Might be able to tow us over. Yeah. Never mind, you might have to find an alternate route, I think. Okay, so we have now moved on to the village of Hawk's Head. We have found this lovely shop that sells Peter Rabbit and Friends memorabilia. So, it's all sorts of different items. So, there's an ape. Oh, you've got a lovely shot of me in the window there. So, there's Peter himself. And I can see Jemima Puddle Duck with her back to us there. She's also there. And there is Flopsy and Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Looks very cool. Let's have a look over in this window and see what they've got. There's another one of Peter near a two toad stool. So we've driven from uh, Hilltop past Hawks Head Village and we're now in Windermere and this is the world of the Beatrix Potter attraction. Unfortunately it is closed as well. But it's a wonderful building. We'll see what we can see. We'll have a walk around the other side, see if we can see anything. The world of Beatrix Potter opened by Victoria Wood on Thursday the 5th of September 1991. So it's been here a while. There's some characters. See Puddle Duck there. That Mrs. Tiggy Winkle next to Puddy Puddle Duck. See the tails of Peter Rabbit book. Hopefully you can see on the door there. Peter Rabbit and Jemima Puddle Duck. But if we go inside, if we just go past that, there is indeed a couple of characters. So we've got Jemima Puddle Duck behind the left. Is that Tom Kitten? Can't see his scary eyes from here. I guess that's him. Looks very lifelike, certainly compared to being on the coin. So this is the other way in. If you come from this side, if you walk down that path there, and there it is, that is the door to all the Beatrix pot of goodness you could possibly want. A little gift shop here, wooden, the Edinburgh Woolen Mill. Seems to be all over the place, these type of shops. But there's some Peter Rabbit merchandise in here as well. Everyone in the Lake District seems to love Peter Rabbit. There he is. Some ceramics there, a mug, $9.99 for a mug, not too bad I suppose as far as mugs go, or, or themed mugs. Who have we got there? Jemima Puddle Duck, this is uh, Mrs Tiggy Winkle down the bottom, we've got Peter. Who's the, who's the one in the, who's the one in the shoe? I'm not sure. Is that a coin I'd know? Oh and there's a he looks pretty sinister. Look at old Jemima there. Don't fall for it, Jemima. Get out of there while you can. Go, go, go. If you like your Peter Rabbit merchandise, absolutely hit the jackpot here in uh, Windermere. Where are we again, Lady M? What's this park called? Can you pronounce it? Huh? I thought you could. Oh, well. Somewhere near the Beedrix Potter attraction. Just round the corner. We just came from kind of over there and turned right at the end of the street was the where the, attra the main attraction is. But yeah, you absolutely hit the jackpot here. Peter Rabbit and Friends. Unfortunately, it's closed, as it is. But there is some unbelievable merchandise. So I recognise some of these guys. That has got to be Benjamin Bunny. With his red blanket. Mm, don't know who that is. Is it the Taylor of Gloucester? Maybe he's with his kids, not sure. Be another mouse one, there's plenty of other mice. There is uh, some fantastic. Oh, Mr. Tiggy Winkle. Hello. I guess anyway. So there is some fantastic merchandise here. So any Peter Rabbit, Jemima Puddle Duck, Beatrix Potter fans, this is the place to come. If you're in the Lake District doing the, all the sites of Beatrix Potter, 
this is where you want to be. For your merch. Not sure what price is. Probably is going to be pricey to be fair. This one there, there's a cupcake making kit. 11 99 12 quid. Yowza. I guess it's official merch. Not as close as you can get to official. Even got a Jemima Puddle Duck xylophone. Now where else in the world could you get that? Other than maybe it's eBay or Amazon. Even Paddington's in town. Okay, that's gonna do it for the letter V. So we're in Bowness on the edge of Lake Windermere. And I thought we'd sign off with this wonderful view. It's a glorious day. And I'm sure you'll agree, it's an amazing view of Lake Windermere. The hills in the background, Lady Em and Elia enjoying the, enjoying the sunshine, as are all the ducks. I'm sure Jemima's there somewhere. And yeah, absolutely, it's been an amazing, an amazing adventure. We've been round to Sawley. Is it Sawley, Lady M? Sorry. Sorry, I'll get that right one day. So we've been to Sawley to see Hilltop. We've been to Hawkshead to see the gallery that was closed, but we did see some other bits and pieces. And here we are now in Bowness, signing off. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Jemima, is that, is that you? <laughs> right, we'll sign off here. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next adventure.